don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to sahara football as usual i'm your host selassie fiawe today we're going to talk about the performance of Ghanaian players abroad and the ghana premier league match day five fixtures that took place over the weekend liberty professionals unfortunately succumbed to a 2-1 defeat to Accra Hatifu, who came back from behind late later on at the car randolph park to win their game i'm also going to talk to you about kumasi asante kotoko who left it late in their clash with ebusian dwarves in the first of five fixtures that they'll be playing behind closed doors andrea you was on target for swansea city as they moved into the playoff spaces for the premier league in the championship and so many other amazing Ghanaians on show i use crystal palace put an upset in against manchester city they held them to a 2-2 draw which further dented title hopes at least so as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we'll jump right into it and start off from the ghana premier league now the ghana premier league match day five was played over the weekend on saturday breakroom chelsea beat ashanti gold 1-0 an unfortunate incident that led to the goal against ashanti gold the goalkeeper of ashanti gold unfortunately let the ball slip from his grasp as he caught it from a back pass and it was easy pickings for the breakroom chelsea player kofi Obu. so he found the back of the net right after that incident and it was 1-0 for Brecum Chelsea. They are now on top of the Ghana Premier League with 13 points. They have drawn just one game, 13 points from five games, and they seem to be the pace setters of the league this season. I'll take you through the other fixtures that all kicked off on Sunday at 3 p.m. Inter Allies, they drew 1-1 with Wafa at the Accra Sports Stadium. Now, Liberty Professionals lost 2-1 to Accra Hatovok after taking an early lead in the second minute Hatovok rallied back into the game 1-2-1 Dreams FC beat Mediama 1-0 at Dewu Elmina Sharks drew 1-1 with Accra Great Olympics after their first win Accra Great Olympics finally found a draw once again after their first win in midweek Kerala United who lost to Accra Great Olympics this midweek were able to draw with Kim Faisal Babies 1-1. Adriana Stars beat Legon City's 2-0. Yaya Mohamed was in there for Adriana Stars. He was amongst the goal scorers. Kumase Asante Kotoko, they won 2-0 against Ebusiandro. Matthew Kujo who came on as a substitute. The 16-year-old came on as a substitute and found the back of the net for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So after those round of fixtures, this is how the table looks like. Brecum Chelsea lead the way. No losses so far. Just one draw with 13 points. Adriana Stars with just one loss. They have 12 points. Mediama SC with 10 points. Ashanti Gold with 10 points as well in fourth. They make up the top four. Dreams FC are in fifth position with 10 points as well. Kumasi Asante Kotoko with nine points. West Africa Football Academy seventh with nine points. Bechem United are eighth with seven points. And Accra Hats of Folk, Accra Hats of Folk are ninth with seven points. Liberty Professionals are there in the league table. Sixth with, they are 10th with six points. Elmina Sharks are 11th. Kerala United, Accra Great Olympics, Inter Allies, um, 11 Wonders, and Legon City's Kim Faisal and Ebusian Dwarfs make up the bottom three. Ebusian Dwarfs, unfortunately, have not gotten even a point on the board. So, next weekend is the big clash Kumasi Asante Kotoko versus Accra Hatsufuk. Really looking forward to that clash. We all know, no matter the league positions of these two teams, this game always causes a frenzy in town so many people looking forward to this game kumasi asante kotoko have gotten back to winning ways after not so much of an impressive performance against the busian drafts but they got the result later on in that game and that is what they'll be thinking about Sakura Hatufu sort of having a resurgence in form coming back from that game against liberty professionals to win 2-1 will be in full confidence let me know your thoughts on the weekend's fixtures which game did you watch who are you going for for the clash on sunday between akra hatsufuke and kumasi asante kotoko who will win it 
in your opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments box it's sure to be an interesting interesting encounter at the Accra Sports Stadium on Sunday when these two teams renew their rivalry so that is it there with the Ghana Premier League I move on to the performances of Ghanaian players abroad over the weekend Liverpool further stretch their lead at the top of the Premier League with 16 points with still a game in hand against West Ham yeah the Reds further dented Manchester United hopes of play in the Champions League this season actually and Manchester United succumbed to a 2-0 loss to Liverpool at Anfield it was really a game in which United could have salvaged a point at least but in the end Mohamed Salah secured the points after a long-range pass from goalkeeper Allison found him in acres of space he made no mistake when one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea and the rest they say is history Liverpool are 16 points clear possibly 19 points clear and looks like they are getting their hands on the title for the first time in over 30 years kudos to them in advance i guess in italy juventus stretch their lead at the top of the table to four points from inter milan yeah, inter milan drew 1-1 with lecce on sunday earlier on before juventus a brace from cristiano ronaldo ensured that they got all three points in their 2-1 win over parma it wasn't the brightest of performances from them but they got the win nonetheless and in spain barcelona yeah fc barcelona got that all important win under their coach Setien it was a 1-0 win in the end against Granada after Real Madrid had had won 2-1 against Sevilla on Saturday so those are the summaries of the wrap up of the action that took place over the weekend start off from England with the performances of Ghanaian players abroad as usual now Manchester City they took on Crystal Palace and it ended 2-2 unfortunately for manchester city it was an own goal from fernandino that secured the draw for crystal palace jordan iu played 90 minutes and jeffrey schlop is still out injured for his side southampton took on wolves and wolves beat southampton 3-2 kevin danso was not in the squad for southampton newcastle took on chelsea and my oh my it was a dagger to the heart of Chelsea fans. Late on, Isaac Hayden found the back of the net in a goal which I think Kepa Aretapalaga could have done much better. It was quite unfortunate for Chelsea to lose after dominating in this game so much. Unfortunately, they lost 1-0 at the death of this game. Christian Archie was an unused substitute in his team's 1-0 win. Millwall, they took on Reading and Andy Adam was not in the squad as his side lost 2-0 to Millwall. Swansea took on Wigan Athletic and Andrea Ayew scored a goal. The winner which turned out to be the winner in the 67th minute. Ryan Brewster got his first ever professional goal. He is on loan from Liverpool to Swansea City and he opened the scoring before Andrea Ayew got the winner in the 67th minute. Swansea City are now in the playoff spots now and they'll be hoping to motor on from there into the places for the Premier League promotion. AFC Wimbledon took on Peterborough United and it was a 1-0 win for AFC Wimbledon. Chris Pia was an unused substitute, however, in this game. Bentley took on Leicester City and Daniel Amate still out with injury for Leicester City. Leicester City, Jamie Vardy missed the penalty and that meant that they lost this game 2-1. It was a game in which you would have thought Bentley had nine lives. They survived so many onslaughts from Leicester City and, well, it's best to say it wasn't Leicester City's day in the end. They lost 2-1. Nottingham Forest took on Lowton Town and Nottingham Forest were 3-1 winners against Lowton Town. Alberto Adoma played 67 minutes before being substituted in this game. I moved to Spain and Levante, they took on Deportivo Alaves. Mubarak Wakasu was suspended for this game. His team, however, managed to secure all three points. Osasuna took on Real Valladolid. Both teams drew blanks and it was a good game for Mohamed Salisu. He played a full 90 minutes. Aiba took on Atletico de Madrid and Thomas Pate played the full 90 minutes of this encounter as Aiba beat Atletico Madrid 2-0. Thomas Pate and his teammates left dejected after that loss. Real Mallorca they took on Valencia and Lumo Agbenyanu played 90 minutes along with Idrisu Baba as his team won 4-1 against Valencia. 
Atletico Bilbao took on Celta Vigo. Joseph Edu came on in the 88th minute in this 1-1 draw between both sides. In Germany, SC Paderborn, they took on Bayer Leverkusen and they lost a 4-1 to Leverkusen. Christopher Entriage was in action for the full length of the game which was 90 minutes. Fortuna Dezodov, they took on Veda Bremen and Bernard Tekbete was an unused substitute. Nanam Puma came in on in the 79th minute and Kasim Adams was not in the squad. Fortuna Dezodov lost this game 1-0. Bernard Bremen emerged triumphant. To Belgium, I move to next and ostend they took on Vaslan Beveren. Thomas A. Japon was an unused substitute as his Vaslan Beveren side beat Ostende. Serke Bruges lost 2-1 to Royal Antwerp. Godfred Dorsa played in defense this time and he played the full 90 minutes. Zote Varegem took on Genk and Joseph Painzo came on in the 72nd minute as Genk beat Zote Varegem 3-0. In Turkey, Trabzonspor thrashed Kasim Pata 6-0. Ekuban played the seven minutes before being substituted. Alanya Spor took on Kayseri Spor and Bernard Mensah was not in the squad for Kayseri Spor as Alanya Spor thrashed them 5-1. Medipu took on Yeli Malate Spor and Free Aqua played 76 minutes of this encounter as his Yeli Malate Spor side were thrashed 4-1. In Italy, Sassuolo took on Torino. Alfred Duncan was out of this game with injury. His solo side, however, were able to win 2-1. And Napoli took on Fiorentina. Kevin Prince Boateng was not in the squad for Fiorentina amid rumors that he might be joining FC Barcelona. We'll see what happens there. 2-0 win for Fiorentina in the end. And AC Milan's resurgence continues with the return of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. They beat Udenize 3-2. You, Nicolas Upoku was an unused substitute for Udinese in this clash. And Bologna took on Hellas Verona. Claude Japong and Emmanuel Ajimambedu, who recently came back from his blood clot in his lungs, were on the bench as unused subs in this 1 1 draw. And Inter Milan succumbed to a 1 1 draw against Lecce. Kojo Asama was not in the squad. So that is it there with performances of Ghanaian players abroad. So many Ghanaians not in action because they are least no back in Austria, in Saudi Arabia and in Serbia as well. As and when they come back, I'll be talking to you about them. But what do you think about Andre Ayus form so far? He has scored so many goals this season for Swansea City and has continued that goal scoring form this weekend. Kudos to Andre Ayu and Jordan Ayu's Crystal Palace denting Manchester City's ever fading title hopes. To Liverpool, I say congratulations. At this point, there is no way they are not winning the title. Juventus motor on, so to the Real Madrid and Barcelona, which looks like it's going to be the El Clasico, the second leg one, which will determine the title once again. Both teams are on the same point and it's going to take a really, really thin margin to decide who wins La Liga 2019 2020. Ghana Premier League match day six. Top liner Accra Hato Folk versus Comercia Santa Cotoco at the Accra Sports Stadium. I'll be looking forward to that. Check out our merch. Links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. <music>